The second day of Jump Festa 2024 just finished and who would have guessed that it was going to get even crazier than yesterday. But let's stop the rambling and get straight into it. Make sure you stick around till the end because of a really big surprise. To start things off, the next Chainsaw Man arc is going to get a movie. Now to some people this might be a surprise, to some it might not. I know there are some people that predicted this is going to happen. Now we also got a teaser and I wouldn't personally take it at face value because as we know this is all pre animated and what this means is that this is essentially not done by the studio itself it's something done exclusively as a promotional video so you can't really tell if there has been an art style change or major changes done to the animation or visuals now at the end of the teaser it says movie one so this makes me think does that mean we're going to have more movies after this one I honestly have no idea they might even finish the whole part one manga in movie format but if that's the case I think that's just gonna take a lot of time. Moving up we got Hell's Paradise season 2 announced with a teaser visual and we don't really know when this is going to come out but considering they're working on the Chainsaw Man movie I don't expect MAPPA to come out with this one next year but who knows. I'm personally not a big fan but I'm not going to be quick to judge this. I'll just wait for a trailer and see if this is worth watching. Next we have a new anime by MAPPA again. Now can we just talk about how MAPPA announced three separate anime today? Like they just keep dominating every event they go to. Book Kiaku Battery, or however you pronounce it, is a baseball sports anime, and we also got a trailer for this one as well, and it looks pretty nice. I mean, I haven't really seen many baseball themed anime recently, so I think this one is going to be quite refreshing. This one is coming in April next year, so this is most likely going to be the first MAPA project of 2024, so that's exciting as well. Now, speaking of April 2024, we got Kaiju number 8 coming on Crunchyroll and on X at the same time, and we also got a new trailer which doesn't really look that great I'm going to be honest I mean it's not bad don't get me wrong it's just not that amazing I think the story might be carrying for this one but who knows we'll just wait and see bleach part 3 has been confirmed as well for the next year and we also got a teaser as a first look and I think this is probably the best trailer I've seen today I mean I haven't watched nor read bleach but this new adaptation always looks incredible so I'm pretty sure the fans are eating with this one to finish things off we have Roroni Kenshin season 2 confirmed in 2024 and they will adapt the Kyoto Disturbance arc which is considered one of the best arcs in the manga so check it out if you're interested. And now for one of the craziest news this year, the One Piece remake series. I can't, I can't believe I'm saying this but apparently Wit Studio is going to readapt Romance Down, the first arc of One Piece and they're going to release it on Netflix. Now I have no idea if this is a small project or a huge one. People are speculating if they are going to adapt each arc in One Piece. I personally kind of doubt that. I don't think that's the case since it's a huge commitment to both the production company and the studio itself. Oda also said at the event that this is for the 25th anniversary of the anime so I doubt they're going to remake the whole anime and label the whole thing as just an anniversary. That would be kind of weird. I see this as also a good opportunity for them to give more awareness to the anime by releasing it on Netflix where the live action was released as well to sort of garner that fan base since it's so hard to get into to the anime nowadays because of how old it is. But let me know in the comments below what you think of this. This is just crazy news. No one expected this at all considering Toei Animation is still animating One Piece to this day. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't. See you guys next time. Peace.